Welcome back to the Electricians 2 channel. Today, we're going to do the, um, a review on receptacle testers. And these three are the latest uh, receptacle testers on the market by three heavyweight companies that I'm sure most of you know about, may even own some of their products. Uh, but I know you heard of their names before. Now, the most the most recent one that I have uh, that I've added to the bunch is the Ideal Industries model number model number uh, six one five one seven. Uh, and Fluke, this is their first time that I know of coming out with uh, a receptacle tester. Uh, so the model number to that one would be ST120 plus. And I guess it's the plus because it has this little switch down here um, that with the audible sound, if that's what you choose to, you know, either put it on or turn it off. And it also features a GFCI um, tester. Um, this one also, the Klein, it has some features, but I'm going to go through them one by one, and I'll tell you which one that I like out of the three. And and I'll put them in the order that I think they should be uh, put in as far as being um, top of the line to the least top of the line. Um, and whatever one that be coming third, I'm not saying that it's, it's, it's just bad. Is uh, or or is not worthy to own. It's just that I think that um, as far as features concern, features concern, and you know build quality and some things like that. That's what I'm talking about. So um, I'm gonna start with the fluke and um, work my way across to the right, and we're gonna just see which one has the most features. The the the, the uh, user friendliest features, the better build quality, and so on and so forth. Okay, now uh, let me see something I wanted to do. Okay, let's talk about the fluke. Let me just give you a look at all of these right now. How they all look? All of them have the the two blades, uh, polarized blades right here. The NEMA plug, I should say. They all have a NEMA plug on them. And um, we're going to see just which one that I think that I will call my number one and my number two and my number three. So let's start off with the Fluke. Like I said, this is, this is that I know of, this is Fluke first time coming out with um, a receptacle tester. And they called it the uh, Fluke ST120 Plus socket tester with the GFCI feature. And they have some features down here, which is they have correct um, open ground, open neutral, open hot, hot neutral reversed, hot ground reversed. And, it, and it's rated for Cat 3, 300 volts. And you also have this little switch right here for audible tone, and you can take it off if you choose to. Other than that, it doesn't really have anything special about it. Just a plain old, a plain um, uh, receptacle tester. I'm going to plug it in for you that you should see how the lights uh, look. Uh, I don't have a, G um, I thought I would have a GFCI by now. I don't. That's that's how it look right now with the audible tune, uh, audible sound. And that's, you can turn it off right there. And this is not a GFCI receptacle right here. That's an AFCI receptacle, so it won't trip that. But that's how it looks. Um, it's either green, two greens, or you get one red, one green, or what have you, if you if it has some kind of fault on the um, receptacle. Um, is it confusing? I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, your basic tester. I think um, now... As far as the build quality, uh, quality is concerned, it really feels uh, high quality uh, as far as the plastics. It does. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like a, it feels like it's something that would be made by a fluke. That's all I can tell you. It's, you know, 
would it would it withstand a fall? I, I don't know. I prob probably not. Depends on how you know how high you dropped it from. Uh, you, it doesn't. You don't need batteries for this. Um, but the circuit have to be alive in order for this thing to work. So um, it doesn't have a digital display as you see. As you see, but uh, other than that, I think it's okay. I think it's okay on a scale from one to ten. I would give this um, maybe something like a. I don't know. I'm gonna save that for now. I'm gonna save it, uh, and I'll tell y'all at the end. Um, as far as the, um, it don't it, like I said, don't take batteries. Don't have a backlight. Don't have a font size because don't have a display display screens. The um the the indicator lights up here. The the um, nice size you can see them if they would when they light up. The features basic features that you find on any one of the little voltage test testers that you find in any hardware store. Um, the voltage rating, like I said, it's Cat three three hundred volts. The price for this uh, at Home Depot it was fifteen dollars for this one, and this is they they, have, they come out they have two models. Uh, there's a, the other one is an ST one one twenty, uh, but I think it doesn't have the the it don't it don't have the uh, the switch right here for the audible sound. It don't have that, so that's just the plain one twenty. This one, um, and it, like I say, it's fifteen dollars. So now let's go with the Klein. The Klein, this Klein right here, I. I it feels heavier than the flute, and that's because it, this one does take batteries. It takes two, um, I think it's AAA batteries. Two AAA batteries inside of here. I think it's AAA. Let me see. Um, yeah, it takes two AAA batteries to power to power this up. Um, this one does have a display screen on it and has an off and on button. It tests for GFCIs and um, all, the, all, the, all the basic features that the Fluke has, like uh, correct wiring, open ground, open neutral, open hot, um, hot neutral reversed, uh, hot ground reversed. Uh, it do a GFCI test and it gives the uh, the time that it took before the GFCI tripped. It lets you know about the time. So that's a that's a nice feature for it to have. Also, uh, as far as the indicator lights, it's just basic. It gives you. Let me show you. And that's it. You have like a bluish, um, well, from your angle, it looks blue, but it's not, you know, it's it's clear enough that you can see it, but it have to have like a bluish looking light. Um, like I said, it, it gives you the voltage reading right there. It gives you uh, correct wiring. It also tests for GFCI, which it won't, which it won't test this because it's not a GFCI. Like I said, this is the AFCI breaker. Uh, it's trying to test the GF like it's a GFCI, but it's not. So it's letting me know something. Let me know that. But other than that, let me turn it off so I can show you this. You just have a green light for um, and it's so, it, when everything is working okay. A red light when there's some kind of fault. So it's a, it's it's very user friendly. Um, and the, for, as far as the build quality on this one, is it really feels good. It don't it don't feel cheap at all. Um, yeah, it don't it don't feel cheap at all. In fact, I like it. And um, like I said, it, it gives you all the basic readings that this fluke would have. But it, the difference it shows you on the screen a digital readout, a nice big screen here. Font size is really big and nice and big. Um, so, yeah, this is a real nice one, too. And the price for this one is 15 
No, the final price for this one is $19 at Home Depot. Okay? So, now, this is the Ideal Industries. They just come out with this one a few, I guess a few months ago. Um, at least that's when I've seen it. This is uh, the Ideal Industries a model number 61-517. Uh, it's a 120 volt AC GFCI receptacle voltage tester. Same thing as these. Um, the same thing as this, um, the Fluke. Yeah, it has uh, correct wiring, open up neutral, as far as features, open hot, open ground, hot ground reversed, hot neutral reversed, and hot or uh, hot on ground and open ground. This one also, like the Klein, has an off and on button. You can just press the button here and turn it on. And if you press it, if you press it again, you can turn it off. But if you press it and hold it for about a two seconds, that audible sound, you you know, you could take it. But when you turn it on again, the audible sound has been um, discontinued. So it's been muted. So if you want to keep the audible sound, I don't know if you can see that right now, it's muted. But if you want to keep the audible sound, you can, when you turn it off and hold it again, once it beeps down, and you turn it back on, now the audible sound stays on. Now, this one also has a GFCI feature. Um, the display window, let me just plug this one in to let you see how it looks. And you saw the rest of them did. This is, uh, this is uh, how the the ideal look. I like the idea also that you just have just the green lights when everything is okay. When something is wrong, it'll show you the red lights or it won't show you any lights. That's, you know, that's user frame. I like that. It's not confusing what, at, at all. Um, again, I can't uh, trip it with this because I don't have a GFCI breaker. And this also holds it for a little while as well like the client did, but this one don't have, when you trip the GFCI, it doesn't have um, the time that it took to trip the GFCI, like, like the client does. Um, now, the build quality of this one, it doesn't feel cheap. No, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, feels nice. When I first saw this in a pack, I thought, for some reason, I thought that this... I looked at it, and I thought this was like rubberized around here. For so I don't know why I thought it. Maybe I saw these little, I guess, grips on the side. But I, I thought it was rubber around it. And I, and I was just saying to myself, that'll be a nice feature. It'll be nice and durable. If you're throwing it in your toolbox or uh, what have you, it'll be something nice to have uh, as far as, as, far as um, you know, protecting it. But... Um, the build quality is it's it's nice. It's, it's it's nice. Now the display size is not as large as the Klein. You know, it's not even close. The Klein is like two or three times larger than 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 um, the display on the Ideal. The font size on the Ideal is is you know is real small. Also compared compared to the Klein, but you can read it when you plug it in. The backlight on the Ideal is nice and bright. That makes it easy to read this Klein. I mean, I read this, um, the font and the display reading because it's so bright that you can, you know, you can read the, the numbers. Um, it takes two AAA batteries to, to operate this. And um, the, like I said, the features, I already said that correct wiring, uh, open, the same features as, as, as the Klein. I'll put them up here against it. I'm just going through the whole thing. Let you guys take a look at it. Okay. The voltage rating, it's a Cat 2. Um, and and max voltage is 150 volts. So it's a 150 volts lower than uh, the this one by the Fluke. And But I would not be testing no 300 volts for with this Fluke. Anyway, uh, but... Anyway, so um, the price for this one is, at Home Depot is $24. So the cheapest one would be the Fluke, the Fluke, and then the idea, I mean, Fluke, Klein, Fluke, Klein, 
and then the ideal as far as the cheapest. The fluke is the cheapest. Ideal, I mean, the Klein, then the ideal. Uh, now, as far as build quality and um, the way it feel, feel nice and good. I mean, it feel really nice and high quality. I think the fluke got it. The fluke takes it with that. Then the um, the Klein does. And then the ideal come in after that. Uh, as far as features is concerned, I would say depends on what you're looking for. Uh, I like the, well, this one is just basic, so that would be out. I like the features on both of these, on the Climb and the Ideal. The Fluke don't really have anything that's special at all. You know, it don't have anything um, special that will make it stand out or even compare with these guys uh, here. And the voltage rating, like I said, that, that really don't matter because I'll be using it for just 120 volts. Um, the price, like I said, I, I did the price. Um, now, out of the three, if I had to choose one of these three, which one that I would go to? Well, for sure, if I had to compare the three, the fluke would, I would have to uh, exclude the fluke because it, so it doesn't have anything to compare with these two guys. Out of the, out of out of these three, I would have to go with the Klein. Out of these, so the Klein is going to take it, and the reason why, uh, like I said, both of these have the same feature, they almost like the same features except the Klein. Um, I like the screen, just large screen, on it. Um, I like the fact that it has, it gives you this digital read, which the ideal do too, but it gives you a little bit more information on uh, in the digital reading, you know, um, in, in the digital readout, and the ideal doesn't. So, um, the client would have it. This would be my number one go to out of the three. The ideal would be second, and then, you know, I would go with the, the, the fluke third. So, um, and again, as far as the price range is concerned, the client is the cheapest. No, the fluke is the cheapest out of them all. So the fluke wins that. Then come the client, and then come the ideal. But overall, for nineteen dollars, this client gives you more, and I think it's I, I think it's better than the rest. With um, the ideal coming in a close second, and then the fluke coming in coming in third. So that's how I would rate them, y'all. These three right here. So thanks, guys, for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, if this is your first time watching the video, I'm asked that you support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment if you like talking twos. Um, again, if you, uh, if you don't have anything, uh, any kind of uh, vulgar language, or um, please keep that off the channel. Um, this channel is basically for... Um, grown-ups. So guys, I thank you again. In the meantime, until the next video, you guys take care and peace out.